Hello everybody, Miss Jackie Russell here. How are you doing today? Today we are having a great day. The weather got a little warmer. We're getting up close to 90 now. I think it was 87. But today I got my new subscription box in the mail. And I can't wait to share it with you. First of all, I'd like to say well to my channel. This is Miss Jackie Russell. And I'm so happy to have you here today. If you're returning, I want to give you a special thank you. And I'm so happy to have you here. I really appreciate you each and every time you have opportunity to watch my videos and comment. And we get to know each other even more and more. And if you're new here, why don't you consider being part of our YouTube family? We'd love to have you here. And if you do, just hit the notification bell so you'll know our next video. And if you would, I would like for you to like and comment because commenting with me gives us a chance to get to know each other. Today, I have a special box and I it's new to the channel and I can't wait to bring this to you. I'm so excited. It is Novica Undiscovered Artesian Products. I guess it's like, it can be products, it can be food, it can be crafts of countries in Central America. This comes out of Central America, and I did take it out of the box, and look how pretty they have it wrapped up. They shipped it in the brown box so they could ship it to me and have it all pretty and wrapped up. This is a quarterly box. It runs $59.99, it's $3.99 shipping, into the USA. Isn't that a great price? And you get to choose. The thing that's different about this box is you get to customize the whole thing. They will give you choices of many different kinds of crafted items that are made locally in that area by the artesians that they're representing for the quarter. And we're going to open this up. I almost hate to break the seal. It's so pretty. I mean, it's wrapped up like a present. Look at this. It is just so gorgeous. Novica is their last name. And that is their, you know, this is their new subscription box. And it's so wonderful. And I can't wait. Let's open this up. This is like Christmas. Or in my case, this is like birthday. Because my birthday is this month. After we get the wrapping paper off, we have Novica Undiscovered Artesian Box. I think we're going to get like six to eight items, and I did customize, but I don't remember what I customized, so we're going to have to just go through here. I don't know if we get a product card or not. Look how that just slid off. And we have our items wrapped up in here. There we go. There's our items. And they're all wrapped up so nice and neat. This is such a wonderful box, guys. Look at that. I think that's my free gift that's sitting on top. You know what that is? Because we went to Guatemala. And this is a worry doll. It says, ever lost sleep over worry or sorrow? You may want to put this little doll under your pillow. And she will take your worries all the way. So isn't that cute? And it's all handcrafted. And we, like I said, we've seen one of these from Guatemala. So they're very popular. It's all handmade. And it's been specifically picked out from them. And guys, the country that they're representing this quarter is in this bag here. They've got it wrapped up all nice and neat. But it's Costa Rica. This is the Essential Costa Rica. And I'm going to have to unfold this to see, you know, to show you the bag. This is a canvas tote. So if you were going to Costa Rica and you were going to be buying you some items, you would probably have a little tote. And you would want one that's from Costa Rica. And now I have one. And I have been to Costa Rica. It's a beautiful country. And I can't wait to see how they've curated this. And I do know how they curated because I picked out what I wanted. I just don't know. I've never done this before, so this is all new. It looks like we have something blue here. And let's see if it says what it is. It says, just as I learned from my mother, my mom learned from my grandmother. Now I am teaching my daughter because weaving by hand is an art that represents us 
Guatemalan. So this is actually from Guatemala. So some of the items are going to be from other countries, apparently. Hmm. This is a fresh lagoon. It's a cool colors, evoke refreshing waters, and this beautiful scarf from Guatemala's Elena Extamer. The scarf is woven in cotton yarn and is a traditional waist loom, a vibrant accessory for any season. So this is a scarf. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that something that I did this customization and I can't even remember what I picked? But this is very pretty. This is going to go good for going to Cosmel. You know, this is a nice colorful piece that would be handy in any of those countries. So I love this. That is so pretty. That is so nice. And you can see the weave in it very good and it's got all those vibrant blue colors and then of course it's got the fringe down at the end or little tassels almost for their fringe so this is wonderful our next item is look how each one has its own little card this is Aldeo Chiroy I want to keep our Guatemalan weaving artistry from disappearing. Like other crafts, the textile arts enrich our culture. Woven by hand, these white cotton dish towels, well they don't look white. Maybe they will be white when I open them up. These white cotton dish towels feature bands of cool forest colors. Their generous size and soft texture make them a must in the kitchen. So let's check out one of them. I guess they've got the white color and then they've used a little bit of the floral color. Aren't those nice? This is good quality. I don't know if you can see that stitching on there, but this is very nice. And that one has like blue colors of the forest and this one has like green, but isn't that very nice? Oh, I love that. And of course, I have no idea the value because you're looking at Artesian's work here from another country. And that is so cool. My next item I have in here is wrapped in this paper. <laughs> and we have our little card. And I was just going to show you how they tell us about it. This is and Lydia and Joaquin. Working together has helped strengthen our relationship. Every day brings a new challenge, but together I know that nothing is impossible. And this is the singing gecko. Look at that. Can you see him peeking out in there? Isn't that just adorable? Oh my goodness. That is just adorable. That would look good on your desk. Heck, just about anywhere. It would look nice for some decoration for colorfulness. It'd be good for Easter to have some of my Easter decorations. That is just beautiful. Look at all the detail on there. Very pretty. This is the underside. And let's see what they have to say about this friendly little geeko or geiko. A petite geiko chirps cheerfully in this tropical home. Geikos are a common sight in Costa Rica where they are often welcome for controlling insects. In fact, in some homes, they are a given a nickname. <laughs> well, I wouldn't doubt that. And anytime you can have a pest out of your way, that's a good thing. Our next item are some, oh my gosh, I wish you could feel the quality of this fork and spoon. This is like for a salad bowl. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so smooth. It's pure wood and it's not chinksy wood. It's nice. Let's see what they have to say about this. And there's what it says on the inside. It says, Peaton Wood Artesian Sculptures. Many of us live in the communities where there's no electricity. So all the tools we use are manual. A spoon can take up to a full day to finish. Wow, just one spoon a whole day. I, I believe it. It's very nice, lots of good quality, lots of good detail. At the table, crafted from artisanal Jabilo wood, this handsome pair of, of these salad servers makes an attractive addition to the table. The Peaton Wood Artesian 
sculptors in Guatemala create this serving fork and spoon, giving them a food safe finish of vegetable oil. So maybe that's why they feel so smooth. Because guys, these are, I mean, you're not going to get a splinter with this, that's for sure. These are very nice. Oh, my goodness. I'm loving the choices that I made. And you know what's really special about this? If you were to go to Costa Rica or Guatemala, you would choose the little souvenirs that you're purchasing and bring them back home with you. So since I can't go to all these countries, then I might as well have them go for me and then pick out some of this. Now my next item, and it may be my last item, and guys, the product card's down in the bottom. Wouldn't that figure? I might have to talk to them about moving that to the top. <laughs> Looky here at these earrings. They even have them separate. They've got them bagged separate so that they didn't cling each other and have any damage during shipping. That is excellent quality control. Glossy Box could learn something from them. But take a look at these beautiful little drops. Aren't those beautiful? Oh, I love that. It is so pretty. Such detail. Can you see the detail in there? Oh, I love those. Let's read on their little card. This is what it says on the inside. And it says, Marion Bruton, the quality is indisputable. If you acquire one of my jewels, you will have it for a lifetime. And this is uh, Isla del Coco, the gleam of gold pairs beautifully with sterling silver and cool faceted aquin, I guess it's Chalidoni, in these delightful earrings from Miriam Bruton in Costa Rica. The earrings swing merrily on a 14 karat gold filled post. Wow, isn't that excellent? See, it's gold filled. Very good quality. This is an excellent box and it was $59 for the quarter. That is just excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, let's read our card. We got us a little sloth there. Everybody likes a sloth. And I don't read Spanish, so I think they're thanking us. <laughs> but I really don't know. I think glacius might be the first word. So if you know how to speak Spanish, you'll know what that card is and maybe you can tell me down in the comments. But isn't that special? And then guys, here is our product card. Undiscovered Artesian Box. The journey has just begun. And I'll have to say that's true. And guys, it's tied up into a little bow that I'm gonna have to undo so that I can even open this up and show it to you guys. And here I am showing you the product card last because I didn't know it was down in the bottom. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've got the ribbon off. And then this here, it's Undiscovered Costa Rica and that's Marco Rojas, your artesian guide. Marco is a living treasure, a highly skilled artesian dedicated to preserving his Baruca culture by teaching the ancestral art of mask making to the next generation. His work has been exhibited in Central America, Europe, and the USA. Marco is an emerging Novica Master Artesian and your guide to undiscovered Costa Rica. And guys, I will tell you, I could have picked one of his art pieces and it was between that and I had to give up the earrings. And you guys know how I love jewelry, so I had to go for the earrings but they had some wonderful choices. So that's very nice. So there's just more question and answers there. And then on the back side, they give us this nice Costa Rican black bean soup and gives us all the ingredients. So I'm gonna put it up there so you can snapshot it. If you ever wanna make it, then you'll have the recipe right there. And you'll have a little bit of Costa Rica all the way from Texas, from Costa Rica to me, to you. So I can share a little bit with you right there. But guys, that is it inside this box. These were all my choices. I do want to try on these earrings real quick, and I hope y'all will bear with me. This, These were the earrings that I got in my Curator, but I want to try on these beautiful earrings, and let's see what they look like. Because guys, these are gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You know what? Y'all remember the little turtle that I got? The little sea turtle? 
I think these earrings would go perfect when I wear that necklace. Cause you know, it's got that glow um, stone inside there. Okay, there we go. I got them on. Aren't those gorgeous? Oh, I love these. They're just very pretty. And I love this whole box. And like I said, this was $59.99. Who knows how much you would pay for this at the market. 14 karat gold post, pretty impressive right there. And then just all the detail, the way they had our little card stringed up and a nice little bow. And it looks like one of them might have fell off, but there's one right there. The way they had everything packaged so nicely. We got our Geico, very colorful. We got our linen woven hand towels with the forest colors. We got this beautiful scarf handmade woven isn't that just beautiful oh my gosh just so pretty and then we got these amazing amazing spoon and fork i wish i could just show y'all how soft and smooth these are the craftsmanship on these are just excellent and then of course we got we got little cards to explain each thing that we got we got our nice little postcard and then we got us a little tote bag from Costa Rica because, you know, like I said, if you were shopping there, you would have a tote bag and you probably would get one when you purchase something. And then last but not least, I did have my little worry doll. I wanted to show you too how my bill came. This is their brown envelope and inside here, they have my bill here and it gives me detail of each thing that I purchased. And I mean, that just goes to show the more detail that they're doing and how nice they've packaged it up. And it's even in this brown envelope, like it's an official letter. I just love that. And then I did buy two add-ons and one of them is right here. And this is a bracelet. And I believe I paid $10 for this. It was regularly like $35. And it also has a card and it looks like this. And let's take a look at it. It's in silver white. And I got this because I've got a necklace coming that I think this will go perfect with. And I'm gonna see if I can wrap this on my wrist. It's one of those wrap arounds and I don't know how you do it. I don't know if you have to get it way stretched out to get it on or what. There's not any instruction. So let's see if we can get it on. So we're just gonna wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around. Okay, there we go, I got it on. Isn't that cool? It's like a wrap around bracelet. And like I said, it's Marion Zeet. And she says, my dreams is to be able to continue helping economically in my home and develop even more in the pieces that I do for my clients, which allows me to enable more women and create more opportunities for them. So she's helping other women have work as they do this jewelry. And this is Brilliance of the Moon is the name of it. So I'll try to get it up here while I read it. And it says, Evoking the Brilliance of the Moon, this wrap bracelet is created. It's Guatemalan artesian Marion Zet. She selects petite beads of clear glass that circle the wrist several times. and that is exactly what it is. And I didn't realize it was glass, but isn't that beautiful? Very petite, see that? Look at all the colors in there. Again, I love these little cards. I have one more item that I purchased that was also an add-on. And they had to wrap it up so it wouldn't get broken. And this is very, very cute. I mean, I'm assuming it, it looked cute when I was picking it out. So every time you do a customized order, you can go into their shop and have add-ons. And you can purchase these add-ons to come with your shipment at no additional cost. But guys, look at this. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Look at the quality and the detail of this. This is... You'll never guess what it is. <laughs> it's a black cat. No, there's more to it. Okay, we got our little card and it says, Victor Hugo Lopez, developing a new design is like planning for the birth of a baby. 
I draw, cut the wood, carve it, sand it, and take it apart until I have finished the piece that makes me happy. And this is the Black Cat. Guatemala's Victor Hugo Lopez creates this charming cell phone. I told you you would never guess. It is a cell phone stand. The artesium works with scrap cedar wood that he sources from a local sawmills and workshops. And he created the cat shape holder. The cat shape holder is hand carved and painted black with white accents. So isn't that just excellent? I got my phone. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I'll turn it around. Maybe there won't be so much of a glare, glare, but isn't that cool? I love that. So I could actually be sitting here and have that sitting there and it's a nice little stand for it and it's sturdy and it holds it up. So those are my pieces from Costa Rica and apparently they use a lot of Guatemala um, artesians, which kind of makes me feel good because we just had our box from Guatemala from our Trevilles box. And I know some of them pronounce that Treville's or Treville's, 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 but I went on Google and I said, how do you pronounce this word? And it spoke to me and it said Trevilles is how you pronounce it. So that's why I call it that. And I just wanted y'all to know that. But um, I love this box. And if you want to get this box, I think if you order and go onto their site, you can get a free gift because I got that little worry doll free but I don't know of any other discounts. But I will put their website information down in the description. If I happen to find any discounts, I'll put it down there, but you'll probably just have to go to the site. When you go to the site, it'll ask for your email and it'll give you a discount code and you can email it or send it off and they'll email it back to you. That's usually how some of these companies work. So this is another international box and this one came from Costa Rica. And my next one will be probably in about a couple of months and I can't wait to see what country we're going to. Did you have a favorite item? Oh my gosh, I love both of my add-ons that I purchased and my favorite item are these earrings. And guys, I'm going to have to say this spoon and fork, this salad set. This is so, it's just unbelievable how the craftsmanship in this, but it's all nice. So, I mean, what am I saying? But anyway, that's all I have for the, the Nobica Undiscovered Artesian Box. And I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know your comments down at the bottom. And remember, I have lots of giveaways and collabs going on right now. So be sure and look down in the description. And if you haven't joined in on some of those giveaways, please do. We have lots of giveaways going on, lots of chances to win. And my 600 subscriber giveaway will be coming up soon. So as for today, that's all I have. And as usual, I wish you all a blessed and happy day. Bye-bye.